I made Minecraft fat. All the blocks in your world now have a little belly, which means that trees are sucking up more nutrients from the ground and getting fatter. You can cut down a fat tree to craft a fat wooden pickaxe, but it's too big for your inventory, so you'll have to drag it around everywhere. Since sheep are eating from the fat grass blocks, they'll get fat too, and shearing one fat sheep will drop thousands of wool. The wolves that attack a fat sheep will also eat too much, and rabbits that eat from these fat carrot crops will become big chungus, which is not something I thought I'd add to Minecraft. Combat is easier in fat Minecraft because the zombies are slower and have bigger hitboxes, and underwater mobs like the fat drowned can't do much except float. But the skeletons actually still look the same. You might be wondering, how did we get this big? And the answer is because originally, I wanted to just add tree falling physics to Minecraft like this, but jungle trees have these cocoa beans that would logically get crushed into the water and turn the river into a chocolate river. And so that's how I ended up adding these chocolate rivers to Minecraft. They're obviously home to chocolate squids instead of regular squids, and Swedish fish instead of regular fish. But more importantly, the chocolate attracts these jungle villagers. They eat and drink from the river, bathe and play in it, and worship these chocolate bars. Speaking of, you can surround chocolate water with ice to cool it into a chocolate bar, but since this is really tedious, you can cut down a jungle villager's home to have them follow you to your new chocolate factory and make chocolate bars for you. This is obviously inspired by Charlie and the chocolate factory, so I also let four people sleep on one bed, like how Charlie's grandparents did it, and added the candy that turns you into a blueberry. Yippee! These chocolate rivers are cool and all, but they don't really fit in with the rest of your Minecraft world. So I also made it rain spaghetti and meatballs instead of regular rain. The spaghetti strands have physics to them and will crush whatever they fall onto. And the meatballs will land as permanent meatballs in your world, which can become quite claustrophobic. To explain why this is happening, I replaced all the clouds with these Italian guys but it doesn't rain in the desert, so I made it a dessert instead. Desert hills are now dessert cakes, cactus are now candy canes, and desert pyramids have been replaced with gingerbread pyramids that have gingerbread men guarding them. Luckily, you can take a bite out of one of them to horrify their families into running away and then you'll free this gingerbread man who is just a gingerbread man. If you liked the obesity epidemic, or it being cloudy with a chance of meatballs, or big chungus, please like the video. I'm adding Ozempic to Minecraft next time, so subscribe to not miss it, and I'll see you soon.